Maybe you've heard the term brand voice guide floating around on the internet and you're not entirely sure what it means and if you need one for your business. Well, this is the perfect video for you because today we're going to be explaining what a brand voice guide is, if you need one for your business, and also how you can use ChatGPT to find your brand voice. So if we haven't met yet, hi, I'm Brittany. I am an online marketing strategist, a mom of four, a DIY enthusiast, and so many more things. But what I do is I help entrepreneurs start or scale their small business by sharing practical marketing and business strategies that even the busiest entrepreneurs can implement. So today we're going to be diving in to explaining what a brand voice guide is and help you get one set up for your business. So in short, a brand voice guide is basically a lifetime document of how your business should sound. So think brand guidelines, which is why it's called brand voice. But in this case, the voice part stands for how your business should sound when you are writing emails, creating social media content, doing website copy. It should also represent how you would facilitate a presentation or speak to someone. So it is all of the wonderful things that encompass the voice of your business and how you share, connect, and communicate with your audience. So a brand voice guide is a document that typically copywriters would create for you. So you could definitely go that route, connect with a professional copywriter. I'm happy to provide some examples for you or some recommendations for you if you'd like someone to support with this process. Uh, but I'm actually going to be showing you later how you can use ChatGPT to put a brand and voice guide together. And you may be wondering, well, I'm a small business, I'm an entrepreneur, a solopreneur maybe, why do I need a brand voice guide? Well, to get started, typically you don't. It's not something that I would say you need to have in your business right from the beginning, although it can be very informative from a uh, a writing perspective if you struggle with knowing how to communicate your message with your audience. A copywriter can really help you take all of your big ideas and get it into a very concise uh, structure and framework that you can then use when you are doing writing in your own business. A brand voice guide really comes more so into play when you are a business that's ready to hire an employee that's going to be supporting any of the writing or the communication or like in-person customer service with your audience and your customers. And it also comes into play if you are a business that's ready to outsource and have additional support. So maybe you're hiring a website service provider, maybe you're hiring uh, a copywriter, you could share your brand voice guide with the copywriter, uh, or like a graphic designer or, or social media strategist, a VA, anyone that is supporting your business and would be writing things on behalf of you that your customers would see. So again, not something you maybe need right when you get started, but something that's going to be really beneficial for you down the road in your business as you start to grow and seek support from additional individuals. So I promised you that I was going to show you how you can use ChatGPT to create a brand voice guide. So hopefully by now you've determined whether or not you need one. So let's go ahead and dive in. I'm going to get my screen set up and I'll be back in just a moment. Okay. So we're in ChatGPT. If you are following along, go ahead and pull it up. If this was your first time using ChatGPT, just a little quick intro. When you sign in and create an account, which I recommend you do, this is going to be your main page. If you've used ChatGPT before, it might load you in one of your other threads. All you're going to do is click the new chat option up here, and you're go going to go ahead and type the following prompt. So the prompt is analyze this text for tone of voice and style, then you're going to use a semicolon. And then what you're going to do is you're going to copy in a piece of writing that you've already done. So for this example, I'm going to go to Instagram and I am going to copy one of my Instagram captions. Now you don't have to copy anything that's super lengthy, but it does help the more information you give it. So we're going to come back and we're going to paste this social media caption right into chat GPT. And then you can either hit the enter button on your computer or the little arrow here to send it. And then ChatGPT is going to generate an answer. Okay, so according to the caption that I gave it, it's giving me the following information. So it says the tone of this text is conversational, supportive, and encouraging. It uses casual language uh, to convey confidence and uh, authentic voice. Text speaks directly to the audience, empathizing with their struggles and countering common misconceptions about social media marketing, which is perfect. That's exactly what the post is about. So some key characteristics of the style and tone. So empathy, it's encouraging, it's uh, authentic, it's casual and relatable, and it focuses on empowerment, which is perfect. Those are all things that I really try to build into my copy. So for me, looking at this, it helps me know that my copy is on track because I have already done the work to put a brand voice guide together for my business. If you haven't done this before, you're going to look at these words here to see what comes up. 
And then to do this exercise, I actually recommend that you complete it three to five times with copy from different areas. So to show you again, I'm just gonna go back up here and I'm going to copy my prompt here. And I'm gonna paste it down into this. And then I'm actually gonna go to my website and I'm going to grab um, a description from one of my podcast episodes. So if you haven't done so, I highly recommend you check out the Go Get Great podcast. It is an extension of what I talk about on my YouTube channel and some of my videos are actually podcast episodes. So, okay. So we're going to copy the description from this podcast episode and we're gonna bring it back into ChatGPT and we're gonna paste it in here and we're gonna enter and then see what it says this time. Okay, so for this one, it says the tone is insightful, inviting, and enthusiastic, focuses on self-discovery and personal growth. It talks about curiosity and excitement. Language is confident and engaging and creates a sense of depth and opportunity. So some additional adjectives I wouldn't typically use, but when we look down here at the style and tone, you see that it's got the word enthusiastic and encouraging again. It's got inviting, which to me is a synonym and relatable for authentic. So those are good. Uh, it's empowering and educational and insightful. So if we go back up and compare it to what it just gave us, we see that we've got empathy, encouraging, authenticity, casual and relatable and empowerment. So you're seeing a lot of the same words come through, which is perfect because again, this means that the writing is on brand for me. So again, if you're someone that is new to putting a brand voice together, together and you haven't done this before, you're going to, like I said, want to do this exercise three to five times or potentially even longer uh, or more times rather. So what you're looking for are those common threads, what you see that's consistently coming up in the responses that you're getting from ChatGPT. And those are your natural brand voice. Now, if you're looking at this in the responses that ChatGPT is giving you, you're like, this is not what I want my business to represent, then that means that you need to make an adjustment to how you're writing your own copy. So assuming that it's giving you back adjectives that work for you that you want to use for your business, how you're going to then use this in the future, you're going to take those words and then when you're even using ChatGPT to help you with your social media captions, you can say, hey, my brand voice is empowering, it's relatable, it's casual, and it's educational. Can you write this in that tone? So then you're prepping and priming ChatGPT to help support you in your content writing. And if you were to work with a third party individual, say a VA or a social media manager, you would then tell them, so anything that you're writing for me should be you know, educational, empowering, uh, relatable, et cetera. So you can share kind of those requirements with them so so that when they do work for you, what you get back from them is actually going to be something that you can use in your business and will sound like you. You don't want it to sound disjointed when someone sees you on social media and then they check out your website. It needs to be a seamless experience. It needs to sound the same. You don't want one to be different than the other. But that's why when you do this exercise, I actually recommend you grab several pieces of writing from different locations. So like a social media post, a blog description, or um, an actual blog post you've written. Maybe it's copy from your website or uh, a transcript for a video that you've done because people can naturally write in different ways for different things. So my tone on social media, while consistent with my brand, might be a little bit more motivational and empowering than let's say copy that is in my website, which is designed a little bit more to convert and sell. So it talks a little bit more about pain points. So it still needs to have the same underlying tones and elements to it, but you might have slightly different variations or you might have one, um, one adjective that is a little bit more prevalent in your website copy, like maybe it's really focused on education or your podcast rather is more focused on education, whereas your Instagram content might be a little bit more focused on empowerment. So it's okay to have varying levels as long as the overall brand voice for your business is very consistent. So if you found this helpful, two additional resources that I wanna share with you while we're here. So the first one I'm going to link for you, it is a uh, 100 plus chat GPT prompts for social success. So it shares prompts that you can use with chat GPT to help you with your brand voice, with your caption writing, with writing blog posts, with doing podcasts, all of those wonderful writing tasks in your business. It's gonna help you save so much time. And now you know how you can do some of the writing so that it sounds like you across the board. So definitely make sure you get your hands on that. It's a totally free resource for you to help you use ChatGPT more efficiently in your business. And the second one 
if you're looking for additional resources about brand voice and helping you find your brand voice beyond just using chat GPT, I highly recommend you check out this episode of the Go Get Great podcast where I have expert copywriter Val Casola on talking about, you guessed it, creating a brand voice for your business. And she shares some really insightful uh, questions that you can ask yourself and prompts to help you think through what your brand voice should be if you're getting things back from chat GPT and you're like, mm, I'm not really sure. Or if in general, you'd kind of like a little bit more of a personal hands-on approach to creating the brand voice for your business. So both of those resources will be linked for you down below. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that like and follow button and ring the notification bell. So you get notified when I share even more content to help you start or scale your small business. So until the next video, we will see you then. Bye.